Rock. One day, we jokingly started calling each other Rock and Rora, as though we were speaking in Chloe's voice. Then I changed your name to Rock in my phone, and now I just call you Rock all the time. <laughs> I think the nickname stuck because it has a much deeper meaning. You really are my Rock. You're my best friend and the person I can always count on. You're my number one supporter in everything I do and you make me feel like everything is going to be all right, no matter what. Your level of calmness is something I strive to achieve, but we both know I'm never gonna get there. <laughs> You're the first person I wanna share any news with and the one I love coming home to. As your wife, I promise I will never take your love for granted. I promise to always be there for you through good times and bad. I promise to tell you how much I love you all the time and remind you how much I appreciate you. I can't wait to grow old with you. <laughs> My beautiful Laura, it was just the other day that we both came home from a terrible day at work and found ourselves sitting on the couch, only to look at each other and realise we were both on the Uber Eats app, <laughs> trying to find dinner for one another. Little moments like these make me fall in love with you all over again and appreciate just how like-minded we truly are. What I love most about you is your resilient, caring nature and gorgeous smile. I'm so grateful for you being my biggest supporter and showing me unconditional love. You've taught me so much in the time we've been together and I can't wait to be your husband and a dad to our one day family. As your husband, I promise to always make you laugh when you don't realise you need to. I promise to always be the warm body to your cold feet in bed. And I promise to always be there for you each and every day for the rest of our lives. I love you. <laughs> the best thing is holding on to that rare person who enters our orbit and effortlessly makes us feel at home. That person who, through the curveballs and highlights alike, remains the person with whom we'd rather coexist over anyone else in this world. That's the person we ought to drop everything for, to hold on to. And that's who Laura and Lockie have found in each other and who they've pledged to keep holding on to from this day until their last. And that right there is the best thing I can think of. I pronounce Lockie and Laura for the first time ever as husband and wife. So happy to have Lockie join our family. He's been in our lives for quite a while now, living with us for a few years as they saved to build their new home. His transition into our family was seamless. He chose Laura, so he obviously has an amazing judgment of character. Joe thinks the sun shines out of his dingling. He can do no wrong. Laura tells us otherwise. From the moment we met, we instantly clicked and I knew you were the sort of the person that I wanted to be around. You were kind, loving, loyal and extremely honest. You celebrate the wins of everyone else around you, so today is a better day than any to celebrate yours. Our laws has had a pretty shitty run the last 18 months, pardon the pun. 
but she's handled these setbacks with so much strength and resilience. I'm so unbelievably proud of you and the person that you are, and so is everyone in this room that loves you. Locke, you've not only won Laura's heart, but you've won mine too. So here's to the newlyweds. May your love be as enduring as Laura's obsession with amaretto sours and Locke's delusion of one day hitting the courtier at Flemington. Here's to love, laughter, and Mr. and Mrs. Owers happily ever after. I know the early days of your relationship weren't the easiest for you, Laws, because Locke was able to describe you to his friends and family as smart, kind, pretty, and scrappy. Whereas you, however, had to describe Locke to your friends and family as street smart, or that is just not a great photo. I know the last 18 months for the two of you have certainly provided its fair share of ups and downs and I don't know two people more deserving of not only the perfect wedding but a perfect life ahead. And lastly, I want to wish you both a long and happy life and marriage together and I can't wait to be an annoyingly large part of it. Oh mm -hmm.